You might expect that if someone wanted to spy on you and the people around you, then they'd have to resort to some good old-fashioned methods, like having you physically followed or planting a bug on you. But in fact, all that is needed is a small device that most of us carry around every day. It's your own mobile phone. The promotional video for Software Maker's hacking team. As illustrated here, the technology now exists that can enable a police or security agency to take control of a person's mobile phone and turn it into a device which traces your location, listens in to your conversations, and even takes pictures of you and the people around you using the built-in camera. All this can be done using only a small piece of software that can be installed on the phone entirely remotely and without the user's knowledge. This company claims their software can be installed on phones running popular operating systems, including the Apple iPhone, Blackberries, and phones running Windows Mobile. Incredibly, after the software is installed, the phone can continue to be controlled remotely, even in standby mode. you feel if your smartphone was spying on you? Well, millions of people around the world got a taste of that earlier this week. At the center of the privacy scare is a piece of analytic software called Carrier IQ. A video posted by a security researcher says Carrier IQ can log nearly all of your phone activities. That includes your calls, messages, location, and even keystrokes, which means it may be able to record your passwords. Well, Gizmodo says the software isn't part of any operation operating systems such as Android or iOS. Instead, it reportedly is installed independently by a phone carrier or manufacturer, and what's worse is there's no way to opt out. Now, the exposure triggered havoc for the company, and it's currently facing a Senate investigation, but Carrier IQ denied all wrongdoing in a statement emphasizing privacy is protected. So here's the question, who's actually using the software? Among major phone carriers, Sprint, AT&T, and T-Mobile all confirmed limited usage, citing network monitoring and maintenance as their main reasons. Now, Verizon denied using Carrier IQ along with handset makers, Research in Motion and Nokia. Samsung and HTC said their phones don't include the software unless U.S. carriers request for it. Now, as for Apple, uh, the company says that it has, quote, stopped supporting Carrier IQ with iOS 5 in most of the products and will remove it completely in a future software update. Well, WikiLeaks is up and running again, albeit not at its top form. And founder Julian Assange has dumped a cache of information, this time regarding surveillance. During a press conference earlier today in the UK, Assange detailed the spy files, shedding light on a $5 billion industry that is in high demand among governments around the world. Thus far, several hundred documents from intelligence contractors have been released via WikiLeaks and their partner in this project, Privacy International. The data, some of which has already public, revealed approximately 150 Western-based companies who have been designing a wide variety of surveillance technology. The technology allows anyone in possession of the software the ability to track and sometimes even take over satellites, computers, even smartphones. And they're selling this technology to intelligence agencies, militaries, and law enforcement groups around the world, giving them the ability to silently and covertly intercept information without any assistance from telecom companies. Here's a few examples of the kind of surveillance technology that we're talking about. Glimmerglass Networks Incorporated, based in Silicon Valley, has a, quote, intelligent optical system. This allows a law enforcement agency to use optical technology to develop a huge database of an individual's activity on a network, including web logs, web mail, even social networking sites like Facebook. And as Assange pointed out a while ago to RT, Facebook could be a very valuable tool for government agencies. Facebook in particular um, is the most appalling spying machine that has ever been invented. Um, here we have the world's most comprehensive database about people, their relationships, their names, their addresses, their locations, um, their communications with each other, their relatives, all sitting within the United States 
all accessible to US intelligence. Facebook. Another company, the hacking team of Milan and Gamma International, based in Britain, offers customers actual spyware and malware that lets them infect computers and smartphones remotely. And the company Phenexia, based in the Czech Republic, creates materials that allow the military to identify individuals and track them based on what they call voice prints, a unique way of identifying a person based on their voice characteristics. There are even firms that sell software just to translate and store all this data so they can be held and used by military and intelligence agencies. Pretty intense stuff. As WikiLeaks detailed in their press conference today, these surveillance companies have been secretly selling their products to governments deemed persona non grata by the U.S. Today, we release over 287 files documenting the reality of the international mass surveillance industry. An industry which now sells equipment to dictators and democracies alike in order to intercept entire populations. That statement sounds like it's something from Hollywood. That statement sounds like it could only be science fiction. So who here has an iPhone? Who here has a Blackberry? Who here uses Gmail? Well, you're all screwed. 